Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Dives, Mr. Crockpot on Twitter. Today, we are breaking down the Eagles versus Cardinals and my top three matchups to watch, guys. If you are new to the channel, please consider smashing that subscribe button. Let's go. My first matchup to watch, starting number one, is Kyler Murray versus Jonathan Gannon. Will the real Arizona Cardinals offense please stand up? Many projected the Arizona Cardinals offense to be tops in the league in 2022, and that's not been the case through four games. The Cardinals are 14th in points per game, 12th in points per drive, and 15th in EPA per play. Football Outsiders has their passing DVOA at 25th in the league, and they have a pretty terrible 27% first down rate. When you compare that first down rate to last year, it was a 35.25% first down rate through the first four games. At this point this season through four games, Kyler Murray's average depth of target is 5.8 yards, which is 31st in the entire league. The biggest thing here is the Cardinals offense starts out slow. This is a team that has the worst first half offense and the best second half offense in the NFL. In fact, the Cardinals through the first four weeks of the season have not had a single lead on the scoreboard for more than one second. The Cardinals did not score in the first quarter for the fourth game in a row this season last Sunday. They did not score until their sixth possession and went three and out twice in the first quarter against the Panthers. The Cardinals are dead last in the NFL at four points per game in the first half. As you expect, the second half was a completely different story for Kyler Murray last Sunday, going 10 for 12 passing for 117 yards and two touchdowns. He also rushed for a touchdown. What Arizona is doing is that they are getting more plays than they have in years past, and most of that includes quick, shorter passes and runs, but they're often predictable. The biggest thing here is that Arizona offense is lacking the play action. Kyler Murray and the Cardinals are dead last in the NFL in passing attempts and passing yards from play action. They've also only shown seven total plays in the RPO this year for a total of four yards per pass attempt. That stuff is pretty inexcusable for when you have such an impressive mobile quarterback like Kyler Murray. For reference purposes, the Eagles are among the best in the league in averaging both 7.3 and 7.5 yards per attempt this season in play action and the RPO. Long story short, Kyler Murray deserves blame. He's taking a lot of bad sacks, but coaching has also been a big problem for Arizona on offense. If the Cardinals don't begin to open up their offense for Kyler Murray and start strong out the gate on Sunday, then this game could get very ugly very fast in favor of the Philadelphia Eagles. My number two matchup to watch is Jalen Hurts versus Zach Allen and J.J. Watt. Through the first three games, the biggest take for the Cardinals defense was their inability to get off the field. That wasn't the case for the Cardinals defense last Sunday as they had their best game of the season against the Panthers. The defense did not allow any points until the Panthers final drive of the first half when they kicked a field goal. JJ Watt and Zach Allen pretty much played the entire game last Sunday. The defense was able to make plays, most notably by the defensive line and the front seven. They had two sacks, tipped five passes at the line of scrimmage and took the ball away three times picking off Baker Mayfield twice. Zach Allen has been one of the standouts for the Cardinals, but he's had a case of the 2021 Eagles pass rush because he hasn't gotten home until last Sunday. Allen has been very good at generating pressures, getting hits on quarterbacks, and being able to be around the ball a ton. But on Sunday, that finally changed when he had a sack and three passes defense against the Panthers. The Cardinals defense limited the Panthers offense to just 220 yards. That's significant because the players on the Cardinals front seven will have to stay aware and be on their toes due to Jalen Hurts' mobility and ability to get huge chunks of yardage with his feet. We've seen opponents shift extra protection towards J.J. Watt to keep him out of the backfield. With that, Zach Allen could be the player on the Cardinals defense who makes the biggest impact on Sunday, as he should have a clear advantage as long as he can win those one-on-one -on -one matchups. How Jalen Hurts manages Zach Allen and J.J. Watt will be a huge storyline on Sunday. My last matchup to watch is A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith versus Vance Joseph, the Cardinals defensive coordinator. To put it simply, the Arizona Cardinals secondary is among the worst units in the NFL. 
The Cardinals finished 24th in team coverage grade last year and has not gotten any better. They've given up the second most first downs and the third most passing touchdowns against the pass this season. They're bottom 10 when it comes to opponent completion percentage and have an average opponent QB rating of 103.9, which is seventh worst in the NFL. The Cardinals will now have to contend against one of the best wide receiver duos in the league in A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. When one says big play offense, the first team that comes up has to be the Philadelphia Eagles. A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith are among the best duos in football, totaling 770 yards receiving and an average of 15 yards per reception. They've also combined for eight plays of 20 yards or more this season. The Cardinals' starting cornerbacks are Byron Murphy and Marco Wilson. PFF ranks Murphy as the number 49 cornerback in the league and Wilson as the number 101 of 105 qualified players. Also worth mentioning, the Cardinals secondary is very small. Their top three corners and both starting safeties are all sub six footers. We know that Jalen Hurts loves to spread the ball around to his plethora of weapons. And one would expect Vance Joseph to have one of his safeties shadow AJ Brown all over the field on Sunday. If I had to predict the player of the game, I'm going with A.J. Brown to have a huge game against the Arizona Cardinals. And then we get to my final thoughts. Let's look at the facts. The Cardinals got manhandled by the Chiefs. They were beaten soundly by the Rams, even if the score made the game look closer than it was. They should have lost to the Raiders, and now they just beat one of the worst teams in the league on the road after looking clueless in the first half. At the end of the day, the Eagles offense is elite, and going up against a Cardinals defense that ranks last in the league in sack rate and 30th in pressure rate, despite blitzing at the second highest rate in the league, just over 40%. I don't think the Cardinals have the horses up front to disrupt Jalen Hurts or the talent in the secondary to slow down A.J. Brown or Dallas Goddard. On the other end, I think the Eagles' pass rush continues to dominate against Arizona. Jonathan Gannon's blitz has been on another level through four games, and I think it continues here on Sunday. Jonathan Gannon is sending six or more rushers on 22% of the Eagles' blitzes this year, whereas last year it was 10.9%. This is important because the Eagles' defense has a league-best 1.72 defensive EPA per play, when they send six or more guys in those situations. During those blitzes, they haven't allowed a single completion in 2022. Overall, I think the Eagles offense will be too much for the Cardinals defense to handle. On the other end, I think Jonathan Gannon's pass rush continues to thrive against Arizona. I'm going with the Eagles with the W and a win by more than a couple of scores. So those are my top three matchups to watch. Do you agree or disagree with my choices? Let me know down in the comments. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter for everything Philadelphia Eagles. We will see you on pregame, halftime, and postgame live between the Eagles and Cardinals. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay awesome.